Is it linear? In this video, we'll identify linear functions from graphs, tables, equations, and situations. Characteristics of linear functions. A linear function has a constant rate of change. The graphical form of a linear function will be a non-vertical straight line. The rate of change of a linear function is found by taking any two ordered pairs, which are solutions to the linear function, dividing the difference of the two y-coordinates by the difference of their respective x-coordinates. In a table of a linear function, the change in y-values over the change in corresponding x-values will be constant, and the equation form of a linear function can be written as y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The graphical form is perhaps the easiest to spot for linear functions. So here we have four graphs. Can you find a linear function among these four graphs? This one is definitely linear. It's a straight line. The rate of change is actually zero, so it's a horizontal line. The slope is zero. It's neither increasing nor decreasing, but it is linear. And now this set of points is also linear because I could certainly connect the points with a straight line, and it has a constant rate of change. The other two curves or graphs are not linear because the rate of change is not constant. In that lower left curve, it looks like part of the graph is decreasing and the other part is increasing. And in the lower right, that is a quadratic function. It is not a linear function. Let's go to the tables. In the first table, as I add, look, let's look at the x. As x is increasing by 1, you see y is increasing by differing amounts there. So therefore the rate of change is not constant. And this table is not linear. Let's look at the middle table. Let's consider the x-coordinates. As they increase by 1, the y is increasing by 4. So this is linear. It has a positive rate of change. It's increasing. And in that last table on the right, is x increasing by a constant amount while f of x is changing by a constant amount as well? If so, this is a linear function. Let's move to the equation form. And we're asking you to identify linear functions. And we can graph these functions using desmos.com and then determine which graphs show straight lines. And from there we can kind of make a generalization. So the graphs, if I were to type y equals two-thirds x into Desmos, would look like this. This is the way the graphs would look if I were to type them into Desmos. Now I will say which one of these graphs is linear. There are two of them. And what do these two equations have in common? They can both be written in the form y equals mx plus b. Notice x is not being raised to an exponent. And notice the x is not in the exponent. So anytime we have an equation that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, that will be a linear function. Let's move on to contextual situations. We have four story problems here. We're talking about Margaret, who's planting seeds. And every week, I guess, the seed, the plant, is growing by a certain amount. Cindy bought a box of chocolates, and each day she ate a certain amount of chocolates. A restaurant charges $10 for the first burger and then $8 for each additional burger. And the McNaughton boys are raking leaves. The rake costs them $50 to purchase, but they're earning $15 for each lawn raked. Turns out three of these are linear because they have a constant rate of change, and there is only one that is non 
linear. So remember, if in the story problem or the word problem there's a constant rate of change, that is a linear function. Now let's look at these non-linear representations. What do we notice about each of these? Mrs. Jones has, I guess she deposits $100 on January 1st. On February 1st, she deposits money. On March 1st, she deposits more money. On April 1st, more money. Do you notice that while she does deposit money every month, it is not a constant rate of change, so it's not linear. Now let's look at the graph. This graph is definitely decreasing, but it's not decreasing at a constant rate. <clears throat> so this is not a linear function because it's not a straight line. And in that equation form, x is not, for this to be linear, you can't have an exponent on x. So therefore, this is not linear. Thanks for listening to this video about recognizing linear functions.